Good morning and God bless you guys. Um, I just wanted to come and film a quick video in my car again, but I'm going to work um, and I just wanted to share this. So for the month of May, I want to, God willing, read a Proverbs every day. And I read Proverbs 1 yesterday. So Proverbs 1 really was getting into what Proverbs are for. Um, and it was for wisdom, discipline, prudent instruction and in righteousness, justice, integrity, shrewdness to the inexperienced. So it's like to those who lack wisdom, if you feel like um, you lack wisdom, you don't know really um, which way to go or you're just looking, you know, because God says to, to be wise always. So I recommend reading the Proverbs. And you don't have to do one every day like I am. You don't have to do it in order. You can do it however, um, you know, however the Holy Spirit's telling you to do it. But one thing that stood out to me was that the fear of the Lord, which is verse 7, Proverbs 1, verse 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and discipline. So the Bible goes in also to say like, you know, if you have fear, which it's not fear like you're afraid of him, of God, but it's more in a in a state of reverence. So you it's like a respect for God. So it's fear out of having respect for him, you know, and that stood out to me as well as um, verse 10 says, my son, if sinners entice you, don't be persuaded. And then 15 says, my son, don't travel the road with them. 18 says, but they set an ambush to kill themselves. They attack their own lives. 19 says, such as the path, such as the paths of all who make profit dishonestly. It takes the lives of those who receive it. And that stood out to me. It's like, okay, so anyone who's making money, profit, or anyone who's benefiting from that money that was made dishonestly, they're basically setting an ambush to kill themselves. So I don't think it's obviously um, literal. I think it's spiritually. So like if you're a person who goes to church and you're getting some type of profit um, and you lied to get that, whatever it is, whatever the benefit is, either you lied to get it or someone, you know, makes money illegally and they're giving you money and you're accepting it and you know that, that those funds are coming from an illegal way, then you're killing yourself spiritually. And the Bible asks us to be wise. When we make money, when we make profit, we have to do it in a way that it's honest um, and that, you know, it's not dishonest. And then um, further along on 20, it's under wisdom's plea. And then, you know, I was taking notes. Um, and it says, wisdom calls out in the street. She makes her voice heard in the public squares. She cries out above the commotion. She speaks at the entrance of the city's gates. How long, inexperienced ones, will you love ignorance? How long will you mockers enjoy mocking and you fools hate knowledge? If you respond to my warning, then I will pour out my spirit on you and teach you my words. Since I called out and you refused, extended my hand and no one paid attention. Since you neglected all my counsel and did not accept my correction, I, in turn, will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when terror strike you. When terror strikes you like a storm and your calamity comes like a whirlwind, when trouble and stress overcome you, then they will call me, but I won't answer. Wow. And it seems very strong. I think like if you're a person who, um, you know, maybe you're a new in, in your faith or maybe you don't believe in God at all. You hear something like this and you're like, wow, that's so strong. Like, who does God think he is? But. God warns, like if you read the part before, God warns in advance. God will warn you in advance. 
If you are a person who seeks God truly, the Holy Spirit will let you know when you're doing something wrong. And if you choose to ignore that, then you are choosing the path that you end up on. You know, you can't be mad at him for not being there when you need him, when you weren't there for him, when you didn't need him. If you don't seek him when you don't need him, why are you only seeking him when you need him, when you need something? You know, when you're in a bad situation, that's when you end up, okay, let me pray. But do you pray every day when you're going through nothing and you just want to thank him because you're alive and you woke up this morning? You know, this this Proverbs, it seems so harsh, but I'm happy that it, it, the Proverbs start off this way because I'm so excited to get like further into it. But it's true. God really does warn us. And it's going to be a sad day because where we are now, where we're heading now, things are getting just worse. You know, by the day, things are getting worse. There's legislation being in place that really affect the the Christians. And when I say Christians, honestly, it's, it's no denomination. It's every follower in Christ. Um, let me put some chapstick on because I keep looking at my list. Mm-mm. -mm. But it's, I don't know. Honestly, sometimes I don't want to make any videos. But at the same time, like, as a, as a follower of Christ, these videos need to be made. Not just by me, by everyone. You know, spread the gospel. Spread the word. Spread the warnings um, that God is real and God's going to come back for his church and if you aren't ready, if you're not doing what you need to do now, you know, that day is going to come like a thief in the night. You know, one thing I learned was when God gave instructions to Noah and it was already t the, the, the ark was already made. God's hand on the ones who were going to be saved because they it was a long time he was making that and preaching and telling people and warning people for a long time just like we've been doing for now my grandma was 92 years old when she passed away and she was serving christ for a long time it's been a long time that the church has been warning people to get right to seek him you know to live their lives according to the word and in the times of noah when god said that was it that was it the rain didn't just come overnight. You know, there was people living their lives with no care in the world. And they didn't know that the day had already come when they were judged. And they lost their lives because they didn't listen. And they lived their life. Can you imagine? You're just living your life like nothing. Going out, hanging out with people, talking with people. And you don't know that your life has already been judged. You know, and when that day comes and you think that you can say, God, forgive me, and it's too late, that is so impactful for me. Like, I'm not perfect. I I truly am doing all of this because I, I truly want to seek God. And if there's anything in me that lacks, if I lack wisdom, then I am going to seek wisdom. And if Proverbs is a book of wisdom, then I'm going to read it. You know, that's what we have to do. If you have trouble with anger, get in the Bible, look up topics based on anger. If you have trouble with, with lying, if you have trouble with fornication, get in the Bible. David, read Psalms. You know, David messed up, but David cried out for God and asked for forgiveness and God was there for him and had mercy on him. You know, it's all about a humble heart. And I know this video is so long, so I'm going to let it go here, but I'll probably do a different video for TikTok. I'm going to just put this one on YouTube. Um, and I'm sorry that it looks like this. This video was intended to be a short video for, for TikTok, but I ended up going in a tangent. So I'm going to just upload this on YouTube and, you know, definitely if you like this video, give it a like, comment down below, comment down below if you guys are getting into Proverbs, um, and what your thoughts are. Um, and if you guys want to join me on this 31 day journey to becoming a Proverbs 31 woman, um, you know, follow along. Just, I might not, um, post a video every day on a proverb, but I'll probably here and there give my thoughts on what I'm reading. Um, but God bless you and have a wonderful day. It's